All right, welcome back, guys. Oh, dude, this one's This is dope. Cerberus. Fuck. Yeah. All right. Welcome back, guys. I'm playing again because I, I want to play Steven's got to redeem himself because yeah. that last episode, he was like... It was just fucking stupid-ass, embarrassing idiocy, idiocy. Now go into the big butthole. Yeah. I'm going. I'm going to the big butthole. Do you need to stock up first? Yeah. You need to buy some stuff? See what we got. We're going to edit all this out, right? No. So you're just going to go in... I know, I know that's the joke, but no. Sorry. Enemy step. We have enemy step. Uh, Million drive. stab. Okay, which one's the one... Ah, uh, fuck. I was looking for the, uh... The Swordmaster technique that lets you... When you hold the button down, it lets you just... have Real the... impact part. Yeah, that's it. I don't know if that's it. But I think it's it. Double Sword Dante. I don't know. So they got ten grand. On. Sword formation. Hold Y and release one of the. I don't need that. I don't know. This is interesting to exactly one person, Steve. Is it you? Uh, <laughs> what do you want me to say? This has to be done. It's got to be done, dude. Uh, let's see. Oh. All right. Yes. Sorry, because Ernie's being a baby over here. Wah wah. I, uh... We'll try to speed things up. This is actually a boss of a fight, so hopefully I don't. Embarrass. Well, as soon as you get there, that is. Yeah, it'll take a while, but. <sighs> what? I'll what? tell you later. It's not personal. Why are you on your phone, dog? I got on my phone because <laughs> I just saw that my wife texted me. I'm okay. sorry. It's important. More important than a let's play of Devil May Cry. 5? Yes. Fine. You know what? Fine. All right. Let's do it. This is the real deal. Full speed ahead. This is the real deal. Look at all the. Why would they give me so much Devil Trigger when I can only I can only handle so much? I don't know. It's dumb, don't you think? Uh, oh, well, it depends. If you have a huge ass Devil Trigger. <laughs> nice. That's not what I meant, and you know it. You can't skip ahead, dude. This isn't. I know. I'm not trying to speed run this. Man, really? They're gonna give me this guy? Right. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Alright, I'm not gonna be able to talk to this, I'm sorry. Alright, that's good. Cool. You can talk to it. Just Why don't you have your devil shin cart, like, Peter? Oh, there it is. You should re you should fill it, dude. Nah, for what? You're not gonna use your shin devil trigger? Nah, that's fine. Alright. I'm not, I'm not that desperate, dude. I'm a little, I'm a little better with Dante than I am with Nero, so... Well, let's see you pull it off. Ooh. Nero's just like... I don't know. I can't... It's, it's just like, I get used to using certain tactics, but to get out of shit, and then it's like... Nero doesn't I, have them. Yeah, Nero doesn't have certain shit. Oh, Watch fuck. out, behind you. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you get... I love that. This is video of a guy... I probably have mentioned it before because I love it so much, but it's some guy who claims to have seen uh, Bigfoot yeah. in his property. And he's this old ass man from like Alabama. Uh -huh. and he's like, I was talking to him, and he was done over yonder, and I told him, "You get out of here, you it, get." <laughs> it was that was a that was Bigfoot. That was a Bigfoot, yeah. <laughs> I just love it because he has that old man gumption. He's just like, fuck it. I'm about, to, I'm old. Oh, I'm probably going to die, but I don't give a shit. I'm going to tell this gut fucker, get out of here. You get. I love it. Because I guess when you're that old, who gives a shit, right? This is you and me, baby. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, you have Royal Guard. How come you haven't been using it? I'm not, I, what are you talking about, dude? Are you like the, that? Are you looking at the screen? I'm using it. Oh yeah, you are using it. My bad. It's you're it's doing it so fast, dude. Oh, I'm doing it. Now it's a compliment, huh? Yeah, it's Whatever. a compliment. That's right. My favorite, my favorite internet video is that one where that guy gets sliced up by that cat. Remember what? that? What? <laughs> Dis disconnected from the dead. Dude, you... no joke. <laughs> the one where he's trying to get the cat adopted. Yeah, <laughs> it's a very loving no cat. No joke. Somebody brought that up on Friday, really? like near the end of the day. 
And they're like, ha, 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 look at this cat fucking up this guy. I was like, that video is a million years old. How are you guys just finding Dude, it now? Dude, that's a great video. That is a fun, See? That's a classic. Last episode, I was talking about nostalgia. Yeah. It's shit like that that I'm talking about. It's brand new. Because yeah. it lives on the internet. That cat never got adopted and it's dead. <laughs> And now it's dead, thanks to the internet. Yes. Fucking oh, shit, I've never seen it do that. I didn't think it would hit me. Look, look what happened. Helmet Breaker, they both go down. Nero can't well, do that. Yeah, but you're not you're not Dante. Oh, fuck. Did it explode or what? I don't even know what happened. Though. One exploded, the other one did not. Okay. Just take care of that. Now it's dead. Yeah. Oh, fuck, it didn't hit me somehow. Because you... Trickstered out of the way. Cause I tricked it, if you will. The trickster. <laughs> trickster for kids. <laughs> Surprised Dante doesn't say something like that, you know? Trickster for kids. Yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> Alright, so what I got here. But anyway, yeah, that stupid video too. I love it. They're like, look at this crazy cat. I'm dead. I'm like, dude, that fucking shit was on America's Funniest Home Videos. That's how old it is. Was it really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, yes. I forget what that cat's name is, but that sheriff was real nice. <laughs> it was Pinky. Oh, that's right. It was Pinky. Pinky. It's a very loving cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just on his leg I don't, and shit. I'm not like a huge fan of cats because I've had bad experiences with them. We used to have cats here. Yeah, but that's like the funniest shit to me is like when they go fucking crazy on people. They go bad shit on <laughs> <Yeah>. people. <laughs> yeah, like, that's so funny. weird, like anything can trick cats. Yeah, they're very yeah, they're very strange animals. I should say they're very uh Yeah. And now with, and now with the invention of like slow mo cameras that, uh -huh. on your phones and shit. Yeah. I love it because people are always like doing shit to cats and then doing it in slow mo. Mm -hmm. And you're like, damn, cats have some fast ass reactions. <laughs> oh yeah. Right, who do you got now? This should be the one Blades? of the fights. Fuck, I hate these guys, dude. Honestly, those are the guys you should break first, because they help you with everybody else. Because they go fucking crazy. They do, yeah. Oh, now there's two, there's of two of them. Two of them? Dude, I don't remember these some of enemies on a normal difficulty. Well, honestly, I think it's because you went to the, like, you're doing the alternate paths. I'm not. Well, there's only one path to him. So really? I yeah, I don't know what you mean. Because you've gone into, like, Three different ways already, and I think there are different ways to go straight down. I don't know. Oh damn, that was dope. Well, those nice. are those strategies that you're using to get away. What? The gunslinger thing. Oh yeah, kind of. I've been playing Volume Palace a lot, so I'm not like necessarily doing like really stylish things, but more like just things that allow me to move out of the way. You know. Well, it's working. Also, trickster. Also, trickster stuff. Trickster. You got it. You know that's probably why they're giving you all that white so you can load up your shin trigger. Hold up, is this it? Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? That? There's a secret mission somewhere in here. Oh no, I think you already passed it. Oh whatever. I just wanted to load it up. I think it's in here. No, I don't think so. Well, whatever. You know this game better than I do. I thought it was here. God damn it. Um, I don't see the markings anywhere. Yeah. All right, Either well, that or it's lower. Fuck it. I guess. Oh no! <laughs> well, now I surely <laughs> missed it. Oh, there's a hey, look mark. at that! Gunslinger! Nice. You're just showing off at that point. You're like, <laughs> I'm not even gonna test it for it. See that? I did see it. Now I did. Now I saw it. It was probably right there. Yeah, maybe. Well, we're gonna do that thing. So. And I believe I already have it, so we're good. What the fuck? Yeah, you got five to do. All right, let's do it. Let's mess these Fuck them up, up, dude. I know this is really random, but we we're talking about uh, old internet videos and such. Um, new internet videos? Yeah. You know what just occurred to me the other day? What? As an adult. I can now go on the internet, right? Because the internet wasn't so easy to obtain back then. Right. Um, oh, shoot. I could go on the internet now and look up things that um, I used to like when I was in high school. Yep. And, and 
look at entire videos and video essays on certain subjects that I could that was really hard to learn about when there was just books and stuff. Does anything that I just said make sense? <laughs> yes. Actually, I love video essays when it comes to a person that is talking about film theory and what makes for good editing, good storytelling yeah. and yeah. like for example, uh-huh. This guy that started on um he started on that guy with the glasses. Okay. So the channel awesome guys. Good start. And his name was Folding Ideas. Sarcasm. Okay. And his whole thing was that he used a puppet to, to do his like videos and whatever. It was a real simple puppet. Just uh-huh. like a box with a mouth and cut out eyes. But I liked it because the guy would talk about film as it's purely as a in terms of an editor. So okay. it's like he would talk about how how certain films even though they're regarded as like these, you know, great forms of media, yeah, you can tell a lot just by the f- the way it's being cut in certain ways. Like, I know it seems like beating a dead horse to talk about Suicide Squad and how terrible it is, right? But he's like, in the first five minutes of that movie, you can tell it's going to be terrible, and he's like, and here's why. And one of the things is like the opening credits uh-huh. are terrible for, like, for what they're trying to do. So you're in store for a whole lot more bullshit just because of that. And what it was is... Yeah, I get it. Like They're like, oh, they don't even know what they're doing. Yeah, they can't even save this in editing. The uh-huh. movie's going to be utter trash. Okay. And I was like, dang, I didn't even think about what he was talking about. And he's like, at the beginning of the movie, you're zooming in on an Arkham as- uh, Asylum. Mm-hmm. And like the lower thirds that you're supposed to be able to read, because yeah. the foreground is mostly water and it's reflecting the sky that's white, you can barely read it. <laughs> And you're like, they didn't even take enough care to make sure that you could read that. Yeah, like the clarity. So they don't things. give a shit. So they just don't. Clarity is a really big thing in film. Yeah. Silhouettes or something that's yeah. even like. Um, but uh, I was actually talking about it because I used to really be into uh, drumming mm-hmm. when I was in high school. And it was really hard to find drumming videos. And there was like, there was a website called Drummer World that I used to go to. Uh, and that was like one of the places to find videos. But. Now I can just go on YouTube and literally look up, like, any drummer, and I can get a concert for, like... Like, it, it, it's basically ridiculous how much shit there is to look through. Um, you ready for this? Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Like, uh, like, John Bonham, for instance. Yep. Led Zeppelin's drummer. People have all these fucking, like, videos that have, like, tons of information that was really hard for me to find when I was in high school because I had to go to, like random stores and find like stupid zeppelin books and like i remember that. like that was the only way to find out shit from like certain bands that you like you know what that reminds me of this what? is gonna be kind of stupid and i don't want to take away from your point but you guys used to love this video of this guy who was like a groupie uh-huh. and talking about like the setup but somebody had abridged the setup and he would say like stupid shit about like they had so like with any good concert and everything usually have a bunch of different guitars tuned to whatever song that needs to be done or backups for a guitar like for his main performer like if the strings bust or it gets out of tune in the middle of yeah the you got a roadie for that so yeah okay. exactly so this is the roadie explaining like his setup and uh-huh. then he had like these guitars set up on like this bracket and the bracket had like this orange light on it uh-huh. and I remember this line perfectly it was like <laughs> the guy was a bridge like he was doing an abridged version over this guy uh-huh. so he was doing a stupid voice like this is where uh, all our guitars get powered by the sun. They oh, need yeah. to be powered by the sun. I know. <laughs> I know what video you're talking about. You guys, it's you and John used to watch that and laugh your ass off at it, and I didn't understand what was the big deal. Yeah. No. You know what? The, okay. Like, sorry. I'm gonna go back to what I was saying before. Other drummers. You, I can finally find like other drummers that have emulated certain like drum beats and stuff mm-hmm. that were like previously only studio recordings. These guys have like done a live version. For people to actually learn. Like, okay, like, what I just said won't matter to anybody who doesn't play drums or an instrument, but it's really cool to see that kind of stuff. Like, I don't know. No, it makes sense, because, like, it's all about the community that, like, brings it together. Yeah. And honestly, uh, I'm going to refer again to my friend Jordan, who's mm-hmm. at, uh, who, like, every time he's at work... And he's mm-hmm. kind of like some people, especially me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love to have crap going on in the background, even if I'm just gonna be listening to it. Yeah, I love having it in the background. And what he has is a bunch of like, dude, careful, man! You're already at like twenty 
50%. We got orcs, it doesn't matter. I know, but you also have your devil trigger, don't forget that. Mm -hmm. But um, he's always like, he's always looking at videos that are about how to improve audio quality or how to get this cool sound from this one thing. And every other day he's what like he has something where he's like this there's a certain song that has this certain sound and blah 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 and he's like this is the only pedal that can do that mm -hmm. and he's like and it's made by this one special company that like only, is out of business so people are always trying to trade these pedals over and over I'm like how do you find videos to deal with this because he's not just looking at videos about sound he's looking about s certain pedals and this guy's going over what makes this pedal so great and like such minutia when it comes to sound. I was like, how do you find this stuff? That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. Yeah. Dude. And like, me and my friend John were talking about this too, and it's like, it used to be a pain in the ass to find a, a fucking, uh, a, a drum, t uh, a drum or a guitar tuner when you were our age. And kids just have that shit on their phones now. Like, you can just tune a fucking guitar off of a cell phone. Like, that's so ridiculous to me. Like, oh, yeah. these, I remember. These were like covet. Fuck, I think I died. Okay. No, you're good. Careful, though. You might die now. Oh. Um, this is like shit that, like, I don't know, was, like, hard to acquire. And you don't, you only really could get it if you really gave a shit about music or whatever you were into. So, I remember back in the day, uh, at one point in time, yes, I thought I was going to be able to learn guitar. And uh, I had a tuner. But mm. you could only use it for guitar, electric guitar because it only had an input for audio. Mm -hmm. uh, for like a like a what is it called the, the cord that you use for a guitar or whatever I forget what it's yeah, called auxiliary. It's not yeah an auxiliary. the auxiliary one it's like a it's like the big one I know what you're talking about and then somebody was like well how what? do you tune an yeah you're almost done he's like how do you turn an electric or an acoustic guitar and I was like oh you have to use this and he busted out like this old ass looking tuner with a little like <laughs> yeah it had like, you know, like, like had a little needle and everything and I was like oh like, fuck what what's are those, this watch out those dude. VU things well I can't escape because I was behind them so. But I was like, how the fuck do you use this? And he's like, oh, you just have to know what you're tuning to and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, could you do this with an electric guitar? He's like, yeah, it has an auxiliary on the side. So that was like big time. You could tune both with it. It wasn't just a single one. Like, fuck me. Like, that was cool at the time. And now, yeah, you just, you just fucking, up, you know, there's an app for that. <laughs> there's, even, there's even apps for tabs and shit, dude, which is ridiculous. Like... You don't even need to figure shit out. Now there's no excuse not to learn the guitar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, you don't even need to figure shit out anymore, dude. Like, and I'm not going to be one of those guys that says, like, oh, that's part of the mystery and these kids these days. No, it's like, oh, man. fuck that, dude. I would have killed for that kind of shit. <laughs> that's dope that they can do that. Like, good for them. Yeah, oh, man. It's, it's pretty badass that you get everything, like, the information that you can get at a, at a, at a moment's notice is so badass now. Honestly, it's like you want to know how to do level design. There's a million people on, like fucking, they work at Bethesda and stuff, and they do their own little blog about level design, and you can get it straight from the source. You get it yeah. from, you can get it right from the tap. Somebody who knows what they're fucking talking about, and they're just like, yeah, this is how you do great level design, because they have their own blog about it or some shit like that. The information is insane, and I love it. Even even uh, big places like IGN and stuff will will be like, oh yeah, this is a great thing about level design. What did you just kill him mm -hmm. with a slice? With drive. I don't have the I don't have the better one, so one will have to do. Dope. He's dead, boy. I don't know if you guys remember Cerberus from DMC three, but this is his daddy. So. Uh oh, Steve. Ah, what is that? Look at that. It's a it's a crystal. See what it does. It's the soul of a dog mm -hmm. that had three different elements Ooh. in it. So it's a three chuck. Yep. Didn't you already have this weapon? Uh, they explain how it got destroyed. Really? Yeah, it got destroyed when he was fighting against that guy that he got Balrog from. I think it, I think the guy's name was Balrog. Oh, nice. Yeah, it got destroyed during that fight. So he had to, he had to get a new one. What a great weapon. This is a cool weapon, actually. It, really, it took me a long time to get used to it, but... Good weapon. Dante just sure knows how to use it. 
If they were gonna bring back any weapon, though, I'm I'm kind of sad that they didn't bring back a, a Nevin, which was a guitar. <laughs> because I thought that shit was so Sorry, cool. Sorry, you didn't like Spiky Boy from uh, Part Four? Who? The one where he had a little little flower in his mouth and he would go. Oh, Lucifer. I like that <laughs> one too. Yeah. I never figured out how to use it. But uh, but I mean, a guitar is a guitar, dude. Come on. I know. <laughs> Woo! What you do? All right, we did it. Uh, it took forever, but we did it. So we'll see you guys next time. See you next time, guys.